All right, here's the latest thing I've been working on, and uh, I'm calling this the Kazam light. And the reason I'm calling it the Kazam light, I thought of other names for it, but Kazam over at the Energetic Forum came up with the idea, and a bunch of us uh, have been working on it too, but he was the first one that posted something like it, of taking the one AA battery cell phone charger that puts out 5 volts, it's a voltage booster, and running it through a 555 timer circuit, which won't work on 1.5 volts. You have to boost it up to about 3 volts at least to make the 555 timer chip work. Well, um, Slayer and Johnny Davro and Skywatcher and a whole bunch of I worked on, a bunch of us worked on this thing. And this is my, my latest thing is this is one of these uh, Lights of America bulbs going full blast. It's a 110 volt bulb um, that I'm running through a transformer. In other words, I'm taking the one and a half volts, I'm boosting it up to five and a half, I'm running it through a pulse width modulator 555 timer circuit. That's allowing me to go through a transformer and boost the voltage up to the 110 volts that I need to make that Lights of America bulb work. And this is why I'm kind of excited. That's about 50 milliamps. And I haven't been able to run these 110 volt bulbs at that kind of an amp draw before off of one AA battery. So if you do the math on this thing, the wattage output, uh, depending on how much that um, cell phone charger is eating, which is an unknown, but uh, it looks good to me. So I thought I would post this and show the circuit. And what this is, is like I say, it's a um, one and a half volt cell phone charger, AA battery, bumps the voltage to five and a half. It runs through that 555 timer chip. You can freeze frame this and probably duplicate the circuit quite easily. It's a very simple 555 timer circuit with no potentiometers. I've got fixed resistors here. I'm just going into a TIP3055 and then I'm taking one of these transformers here and running it backwards. It's a 3.7 volt transformer taken apart. You can't run it without taking it apart and taking the diodes out of it. But I'm running it backwards to get the voltage up to where I need to run that 110 volt bulb. I've got a diode here to protect the timer chip. I found out if you put a diode right there you can keep the back spikes from eating your 555 timer chip. And uh, I'm lid motor, and that's the date today. And you can also run this on a uh, solar cell phone charger quite nicely. And uh, you can also run one of these uh, CFL bulbs. If you put a potentiometer um, right in here to uh, vary the frequency to get that to resonate, but uh, this was pretty neat. Um, I enjoy working on this project. I'm going to do some more testing, but I'm going to crank this up. You'll see this get a little bit brighter here. And uh, that's the top end at about 87 milliamps. And that's putting out quite a bit of light. And that goes down to the 50. And that goes up to the, the 87 milliamps. But that's pretty good, pretty good uh, run right there. And I'm thinking this would be a real handy light to have around. If you put this in a box, box it up real nice, and use one of these cell phone chargers as the power supply, you can get a handful of these double A's. You could run for a long time in an emergency on that kind of a light bulb. So anyway, that's my uh, my latest circuit. By the way, there's my famous 25 ohm rheostat that I use instead of a potentiometer. I put that rheostat right here on the power rail. And that lets me control lots of things just with that one little device right there. But uh, that's the latest thing I've been working on. I call this the Kazam light because Kazam was the one that was the first to post a video on using the cell phone charger to run a 555 timer circuit.